What is going on, Facebook? It is Monday. It is right at 12 o'clock. And it is time for Car Confessions. Uh, I'm doing this live. I don't usually do this live, as many of you know. Um, but give me just a minute to invite some peoples in here. I have Facebook build me an audience here and uh, we'll uh, get started. Hi Donna, hi Mike, hey Aaron, thank you guys for watching, thank you for jumping in. Uh, so like I said, this is it's Monday, it is 12 o'clock, car confessions, this is episode number 23. I do this each and every every week on Mondays, fresh off the weekend, to uh, discuss some type of topic, whether that's a sales topic, a buying topic, or even interview some some entrepreneurs and some business owners uh, to see what what makes them different and what uh, Jeff. Thanks for jumping in, um, and what what drives them and the reason for this this topic today let's we'll start off with with why why I'm doing it um, I had a a customer come to me last week I tried to sell him oh uh, about a year and a half ago and I didn't know him he didn't know me and ended up not not being able to make a deal air rate no um unfortunately timing uh today mike was was bad on my part they test the uh, tornado sirens here in in emporia on monday at 12 so that's that's what you were hearing um uh, and anyways uh i tried to get a deal done with this guy he didn't know me I didn't know him and couldn't get anything done and he actually ended up going and buying a vehicle uh, from another dealer and actually in another another state Dwayne thanks for jumping in thanks for watching man long time no talk and he's had some issues with it and he, he's just not happy with it and it, it turns out that the car he bought has severe frame damage and that was that wasn't disclosed to him and him and I got to talking and showing him some other cars and I just straight out asked him you know why why not buy from me why not give me the opportunity then that that you're doing now and he he laughed and he said that it's gonna sound bad saying that but he said you're a car salesman he said you're you're gonna you're gonna lie you're gonna blow smoke up my ass you're he said you're gonna tell me what I want to hear to get a deal done and you know, now he has a completely different mindset and attitude towards me because, JC, thanks for jumping in, man. Uh, because now, the year and a half, he's got to know me a little bit. He sees what I do on Facebook. He sees what I do on social media. Uh, I'm at business events, networking events. So he realizes that I'm not the uh, stereotypical car salesman that uh, many of the people my age and and older grew up trying trying to buy from you know the the slick slick back hair the fast talker uh, that will try to trip you up you know if you don't buy from them they throw they throw the keys to your trade on the roof of the building uh, he really he sees that I'm. I'm very transparent, I'm very genuine, and I am doing things different than 
uh, the stereotypical car salesman. And uh, I mean, it's it's my job to go. It's my job to go above and beyond, and that's that's what I try I try to do. And am I an expert? Not not yet. Do I work with some? Absolutely. And I really rely on them when when I need to to help me out and uh, guide me in a in a certain direction and help me track down an answer. But I. I just found it, I found it funny that, you know, his, his first answer was, you're a car salesman. And that's one of the, the, the reasons why I want to do the podcast that I'm doing. Uh, I do a podcast, I do a monthly newsletter, uh, I have a number of social media platforms that I'm that I try to post on and be interactive with. Um, I involved in my in my community, and I'm really trying to show as many people as I can and as many people as will listen that there's a difference between me as well as other car salespeople in the industry now than there was years ago. Now, are there still some of those stereotypical car salesmen? Yeah, yes, there is. And yes, there, there's going to be a stereotype in every type of sales industry. It, it happens. They're called stereotypes for a reason. They're not all true. But also, you have to keep in mind is people now think that we still have thousands and thousands of dollars of markup in a vehicle. So they're going to go through a private sailor they're they're going to uh you know an, an individual and uh kyle i'm my podcast is on itunes and they're going to go to an individual because they think they're going to get a better a better deal even though it's no warranty and i strongly urge everybody to you know give give us a shot give me a shot first because I want to earn your business. I want to show you there is a difference. And are we going to make money by selling cars? Yes, we we are. Profit is not a bad word. It's not a dirty word. Besides the entrepreneurs and business owners in here, everybody that goes to work, do you work for free? Do you go punch a clock to get paid? Or do you just show up and, and get a paycheck or not get a paycheck because you're you're going to work for free. You you don't. You don't work for free. Neither neither do we. We are commission based. <laughs> you, Kyle, you're right. Nothing runs without a warranty anymore. Uh, but the reason I say that is we we are going to make money. We are in the business of making money, as is other other companies and other businesses. Are we going to make thousands of dollars on you? No, we're not. Are we going to make make some money to keep the dealership lights on, pay the people in service, pay me? Absolutely we are. And that's another reason why I do this podcast is to show you guys that I'm that I'm different, that the salespeople now are are different. And I want to be your first phone call when you're in the market for for a car. <clears throat> I want to be that first phone call. And I'll tell you why. Nobody's going to work harder than me. You are never, never going to meet another car salesperson like me. Being former military, I am not going to bullshit you. I am not going to blow smoke up your ass. I am going to cut through all that and tell you, here's what we can do. And it's just it's just that the the part of me i mean i have those military values instilled in me i am going to do as best i can to earn your business and show you why buying a car from from me is best decision that you're that you're going to make so i want to hang on 
And and Kyle, you're right. No one understands inflation. Uh, that's why that they know you're making. They don't know you're making thousands off of them. And and you're right. There there is inflation, just like everything else. You know, growing up, growing up, um, when I started driving, gas was 86 cents a gallon. Now it's. I just filled up the other day. I should know it. I think it's like 227, 229. Um, but that's the price of everything. Everything goes up, and and that's true. And but being being the first phone call that uh, you're in the market for, I've had people call me uh, that live that live in Texas wanting to buy a specific vehicle. Now I know at least four four salespeople in Texas at different dealerships that could that could help them they could help them out uh, and they ended up buying from a, a different dealership a different salesperson than I would have sent them to and recommended and they hated the experience they're not crazy about the the car that they bought and they spent the money to buy a Mercedes I know a guy in Texas that is that deals with Mercedes and he is he is a phenomenal salesman uh, but you know not not reaching out not calling uh, I could have pointed them in in that direction now that's just one example I've and I have sold to people in Texas I've sold to people in Florida in Missouri Colorado uh, Nebraska um, I'm working on Oklahoma and Arkansas. That's 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 down the road. I, I have no doubt. But call me. I want to be the first phone call because if it's not something that we can get our hands on, that my sales manager can get his hands on. My sales manager, he drinks coffee, he chews, he buys cars. That's that's what he does, and he does that five six days a week. That's all. That's all he does. He is phenomenal at it. He is awesome. There is not a whole lot that he can't get his hands on. So I want to be your first phone call for that reason. We can find it. We can get it. If it's not something that we can find, I know somebody or I can point you in a direction that you can go. And I just, I'd want to, like I said, I want to show you that, that I'm different, that the people today are, are different and I just, I'm trying to do it the best I can uh, by by being different, by being present on social media, podcasts, newsletter. I'm trying to expand as best I can so I can help as many people as, as I can so they don't run into a situation like the customer that I had last week because the severe frame damage was reported not once but twice at, at auction. So the state he bought it in, that dealer knew the problem because the state he bought it in is a non-disclosure state they don't have to tell him and he wonder why he got such a great deal on that vehicle now now he knows why and i want to i want to keep as many people f possible from making that same mistake going through that same frustrating frustration and just being pissed off at the auto industry in general instead of just you know one one salesperson or one dealership we are not all like that and i want to show you guys i want to show everybody that i can that that i'm i'm different and i want to i want to be different so uh, I mean that's that's it that's that's what i have to say that's why i decided to do this one live instead of pre-recorded to to upload uh here and and to itunes um if you guys like like what you're seeing if you have any comments please drop them in here uh you can find my podcast car confessions in itunes please 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 leave me a review tell me what you like tell me what you don't like drop the comments here like kyle and some of the other people have been doing and uh, you can find me 
across Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, Matt Johnson Sells. You can email me from my website, mattjohnsonsells.com. That's S-E-L-L-S. Um, make sure you guys show me some love. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash the hearts. Leave some comments. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. If there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss or you want to reach out to me, by all means, please feel free that you can do that. Uh, I try to get back to as many people as as I possibly can and I want to help as many people as I possibly can. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing y'all next week. Take care.